Uh, but I got your wife instead. <laughs> Great, excellent. Saves me a job. <laughs> yeah, it's so good to laugh, isn't it? Come on. Get around there. And in there. I think I've got about half a ton of paint on this brush. The only problem is, is that I find I have to concentrate a bit more when I'm using a bigger paintbrush like this. Because although it goes down on the canvas quicker, it also can go very wrong very quick as well. But it makes me concentrate. <laughs> yes, it is. Job's done. And a very good job it was too. Yeah, you just, I have to take it a little bit easier when it comes to the more intricate parts when I'm using a bigger brush. And I, I feel like the time that I save on the bigger parts that the brush is getting over faster doesn't really um, save me personally that much time. Maybe that's just me, because I've just noticed I've done all of that number four now, haven't I? Except for that little bit there. So we should just come in here and do that bit right there. I th think we are now one colour down. Two colours down. I think I did the other one as well. I don't think there's any more number fours on it. Hmm. So do we just go straight in for a number three and say sod it? And then we're just left with a little bit. I'm thinking that that's probably a good plan. Probably a good plan. Doesn't necessarily mean to say that it is. <laughs> okay, so we'll go with the number three. Hopefully I did this one already. Yeah, I did. Perfect, right. Okay, let's see how far we can get with this brush without going back to the smaller one. So when are you doing your art streams, darling? Or, or, or have you already started them? So I know you was asking about my camera setup and, and how I do things. And I know you said you was kind of interested in doing your art because you're pretty good at doing digital art and stuff. So have you had any more thoughts on that or have you just kind of backburnered it for a while? Doesn't look perfect to me. What are you doing? Uh, me good at digital art like I said. No, I don't know what to be streaming today, to be honest. Sorry, I haven't started yet. You get like that sometimes, didn't you? So, you know what? Play something, stream something that you want to play, regardless if anybody comes on and watches. I know that sounds like counterproductive because, you know, like you, you usually stream or people usually stream, not just you, but people usually stream because of the audience and, and stuff and the company and whatever. And uh, like I now usually just turn mine up. I just don't know what I want to play. Hmm. Have you had a look at the new game that's out? Well, it's not out. It's in it's in alpha or beta or whatever else. But it's on the uh, uh, the the Steam Fest thing. It's called Enshrouded. Um, basically, from what I understand, it's um, Valheim on steroids. 
and it's free it's not going to cost you anything you get to play the demo out and uh, it's supposed to be really good i've actually got it myself i haven't played it because my intention was to do it on stream but i haven't really felt well enough to to do it and then that's a new game for you to try so it's going to keep your attention because it's new and you're going to have to learn it and yeah He's a little bit over it. I really shouldn't be doing it with this brush, but I'm going to take a risk. I'm just trying to see. Because I'm always using the little brush because I find I have more control over it. And I'm always a little bit afraid to use the, the bigger ones. Because like I said, you know, the mistakes you can make with these bigger ones really can cause a bit of a headache to put them right afterwards but so far so good although I actually believe I would have probably done this bit quicker with my smaller brush I wouldn't have been so worried about going over the lines yeah yeah I don't know like for me, it, the fact that there's a lot of paint on the on the backer part of the brush isn't really helpful. And even though I managed to do that, it probably would have been better to do it the other way, to be honest. Right, okay. It does mean now that I can just through this bit here. I actually think this paint might be a bit thick for this brush as well. I'm kind of wondering let's, let's add a bit of this in there and see if that makes any difference. Just give it a quick mix up. Not from the other brush I'll have to use this one. Let's really thin this down. Hopefully not too much that the colour isn't going to cover. That should be much more pliable then. Close it up. I shall use the paint that I've got on here. Let's see what this one's like. It definitely goes on better. That's for sure. I think it's probably a little bit on the the thin side now. But as I've said, I'm going to kind of get away with that because it's a magical paint. So it, it's, it actually fits in with the thing. There's just not as much control with these brushes as there is with the, the smaller ones. Hmm. I'll clean this up. Putting that straight down on the easel and covering it in paint. Although I have had paint on it already, and I suppose that's an occupational hazard for an easel. Can't mind too much. Can you not? Okay, there we go. Did I get it on both sides? Hopefully not. Right, okay, number three. Oh, 
I really should have done this in a smaller brush. Do you know what? I, yeah. The, the bits are big enough, but they're just, yeah. Like I say, I feel like I have a lot more control with the smaller brush. And it means I can kind of do these bits faster. Or at least in my mind, I think I can do them faster. Which is probably not the case, but you know, here we are. very awkward going next to another shade of blue which looks pretty much the exact same color that I'm painting now um obviously it's not the one I'm painting now is it's slightly darker but only oh so very slightly darker I'm also starting to try and get into some Japanese anime as well. Um, I'm trying to watch at the moment uh, Attack on Titan, which is actually pretty good to be honest. Um, my my friend got me to watch Initial D, which I'm all over that. It's all about drifting in cars, and actually a pretty good story to be honest. I'm trying to sort of tolerate the overplaying of the sounds you know like when they're when they're talking and shouting when you really shouldn't be at that point and it winds me up and it makes me not want to watch it i think today i'm going to also try and get through uh vox machina because i was really enjoying that and then i watched season one and of course with my memory the way it is i don't remember any of it and I don't want to start watching season two until I remember what happened in season one. So I tried to go back an episode to refresh my memory, but that didn't work. So it looks like I'm just going to have to watch it all. Which is no bad thing, you know. There is a lot of three in there. Let's do these little ones.
Each and every one, one step closer. I still don't know if today's going to be the day I'm going to finish it. My hope is that I do. I would like to. But it's not a foregone conclusion, as most of you know. You guys probably can't see what I'm doing there. It's just awkward. Probably get away with actually using this one for a minute. If we can get some of these big bits done. Just went over on number seven. Which was not to do, obviously. The amount of paint that this brush carried Sorry for being quiet. I, I made one mistake, so I'm trying to uh, make sure I don't make another one.
it's kind of funny when you just get in the zone of things and then you just like for a second there i actually forgot i was streaming <laughs> Right, let's drink some more meat tea. Jeez, that strong ginger. Good, but bloody strong. having some music on the back because there are times when you just you may not actually know what to say or you know and it's just nice to have a little bit of a little bit of silence every now and again and just you know not have to think oh i haven't said anything crazy funny thing is <laughs> for all i know most of you watch my stuff would be muted Which you wouldn't necessarily blame me for. Right. No. Let's get this bit done. Did I dip that in the tooth? Well, but it's done there, so we've got to live with the consequences. Kind of feels a bit like we're speed painting now. One of the issues that I have the most when I'm painting, and I think it's just because I'm tired and whatever else, but I keep getting this film come across my eyes where I obviously need to blink. It's probably because I'm staring at the page too long or whatever, or the canvas rather. But it is bloody annoying. Maybe I need to get myself some eye drops. I used to suffer really badly with dry eyes when I was taking metazapine tablets and as soon as they took me off of them all of that went away. It's funny that because I said that to the doctor at the time. I said, oh no, 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 yeah, it can't be that. Couldn't possibly be that. It wasn't the doctor that I'm with now. It was another one. Couldn't possibly be that. Well, the fact that he even says it on the side effects of the tablet, you know, I'm kind of going to go with yeah, it can. Hmm. 
Do you agree? Yes, you are. Because I can't tell what is and what isn't. I'm just going up to the lines of where I left the last bit of paint. Just in case I'm going to go over something that I wasn't meant to. Unfortunately, the bit I did earlier is now dried. It's just tacky, but not actually losing any paint on my hand. And the dogs are going nuts downstairs for no reason. How does that look here? Not bad, apart from that little line there, which I don't like. Get a bit more paint on that. That's better. And that bit, just there. Okay. Now then. Nearly lost that bit there then. Took me eye off the bow. There. Yeah. That's a seven. That's a two, two. This is all number three up here. Bit done. I know you guys can't see. To there. Not sure what I'm going to do for the rest of today, to be honest. Escape, Escape of, of my, my genius, genius knows no bounds. Amy Mortez, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. It's really lovely to have you in. Thank you for the follow. I genuinely appreciate. It. How are you today? Are you having a good day? You look a bit parched. Why don't you take a drink? There is that, of course. Mr. Pitbull! How you doing? I will. Going good. Whereabouts are you from, if you don't want me asking? 